Yeah. Is it your intention to always tell the truth from that podium, and will you pledge never to knowingly say something that is not factual? Yes, it is. And if you're in the same boat. I mean, there are times when you guys tweet something out or write a story, and you publish a correction. That doesn't mean that you were intentionally trying to deceive readers and the American people, does it? And I think we should be afforded the same opportunity. I, I want to make sure that we have a healthy relationship. We saw the other day that, and I'm not trying to rehash history, but you're asking the question, so I'm going to answer it. You know, we had a tweet go out about Martin Luther King. Think about how racially charged that is. And someone rushes out and says to the entire press corps that the President of the United States has removed the bust from his office. Where was the apology to the President of the United States? Where was the, the apology to millions of people who read that and thought how racially insensitive that was? Where was that apology? When things like that happen, when John Lewis says that he's never, approached, never missed an inauguration, and we find out actually he did, under he skipped George W. Bush's, that there are points at which we have a right to make sure that we correct the record. I mean, you're talking about integrity, and you're talking about telling the truth and facts. I don't know that it wasn't malicious at all, and I'm not saying, but there's a point at which we have a right to go out there and correct the record. And I think that over and over again, there is this attempt to go after this president and say, well, that can't be true, and that's not right, and the numbers weren't there, and there's a rush to judgment every time. And it's a two-way street. We want to have a healthy and open dialogue with the press corps and with the American people about what he's doing to help this country and to unite it. But at a time when he's trying to unite this and he keeps talking about uniting this nation, bringing people together, and then a tweet goes out in a pool report to, what, a few thousand people saying that he removed the bust of Martin Luther King? How do you think that goes over?